The silver trophy to the Golden Knights. Alright, so an absolutely wild conclusion to this NHL season is the Vegas Golden Knights are your Stanley Cup champions this year with a 9-3 win in Game 5 over the Panthers. Let's get into it. The Knights didn't wait long to score the first goal, as with 8 minutes left in the first, Mark Stahl roofs a short-handed break that makes it 1-0 for the Knights, absolutely blowing up the crowd. And just a couple minutes later, Nick Haig would bury a rebound off of a rush chance from Eichel, making it a 2-0 game. You could definitely tell that after Florida's initial push in the first, they were just completely out of gas. As with Kachuk out of the game and many players being absolutely banged up, as we'll go over in just a minute here, the Vegas did not have much trouble at all just walking all over them tonight. Just a couple minutes into the second, Ekblad would get the Panthers on the board with a seeing eye shot from the point, making it a one goal game. But that would be as close as they would get, as just a couple minutes later, Eiko would set up Martinez, who would risk a shot past Wabrowski. The Knights would pile on three more goals in the second period, with the score being 6 1 at the second intermission, with Smith, Stone, and Amadio all tallying. Definitely a show of Vegas' depth tonight as they had seven different goal scorers in just this game alone. Getting into the third, Hale absolutely robs Duclair in front, and just a couple minutes after that, Barbashev cashes in in front of the net, making it 7-1. to one. Reinhardt and Bennett would answer back to make it a 7-3 game, but Stone would ice it with an empty netter, and Waugh would add another goal after the empty netter to make it a 9-3 final. But yeah, hats off to the Knights as they just absolutely dominated this game with their depth, star power, as well as goaltending. Another thing that they did so well was block shots this series. With even though the shots being the Panthers' favorites tonight, 35 to 32, the blocks were 26 to 12 for the Knights. With the two unsung heroes this series really being McNabb and Martinez, just absolute shot blocking machines out there. And with blocking shots and the physical nature of hockey, there come injuries. Matthew Kachuk was the biggest, as in Game Four he played limited minutes and also missed the entirety of game five because of a painful sternum fracture he suffered during the series. Just tough to see a guy like that put his absolute all into the series and be unable to play the last game. On top of that, there were a couple other key injuries like Montour playing with a torn labrum, as well as Aaron Ekblad playing through a broken foot, two shoulder dislocations and oblique tears, and Radko Gudis playing with an ankle sprain. As well, Coach Paul Maurice said that at least four players are skating with broken bones on the Panthers team. In no other professional professional sport while well, you see players that are that tough. But moving on to some storylines from the Knights, Jonathan Marcheseau, one of the original Golden Misfits, taken by the Knights in the original expansion draft from the Florida Panthers, wins the Conn Smythe Trophy. Just a feel-good storyline for him, so it must feel really good to stick it to his old team, as he put up 25 points in these playoffs, taking home the trophy. As well as that, Phil Kessel, who sat in the press box for the entire playoffs, picked up his third career Stanley Cup victory. We'll see how many hot dogs he can fit in at this time, eh? But yeah, just a wild finish to an interesting season of hockey this year. Feel free to comment comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see from me in the offseason. Feel free to sub and like on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.